Rheumatoid arthritis uh, is a disease that is characterized by disturbances in the immune system. One of the key functions of our immune system is to look for bad cells, to find cancer cells, to get rid of cancer cells, and when the immune system fails in this function, then we're more likely to develop cancers. In rheumatoid arthritis, cancer seems to be more common, and in a study that we've undertaken here at Mayo, we found that the type of cancer that's more, most common in patients with rheumatoid arthritis is a blood cancer or lymphoma. Other forms of cancer do occur in patients with rheumatoid arthritis, but they seem to occur at about the same rates as they occur in the general population. Why do patients with rheumatoid arthritis have a higher risk for developing blood cancers? It probably relates to the disturbance of the immune system that is part of the disease, but it also relates to some of the treatments that we use for rheumatoid arthritis too. So drugs that suppress the immune system that help with rheumatoid arthritis probably also suppress that immune function that is important for surveying for cancer cells too. So you don't want to die of lymphoma due to the rheumatoid arthritis or due to its treatment. So I think that what's next is for us to understand in individual patients what the specific risk factors are that lead to this higher risk of developing lymphoma. Not everybody with rheumatoid arthritis gets lymphoma. In fact, it's a small minority of patients. Yet we know that there are certain patients who do develop it, and those patients are patients who have more severe disease in general. And what we'd like to do is to have a better characterization from studies of the immune system, from immunogenetics, of who is at higher risk from which drug for developing a malignancy.